lockdown's coming to an end and rugby's about to restart, which we're all excited about. It's important though that we are ready for rugby. In this video, I'm gonna give you some exercises that you can do around body management, and all you'll need is a couple of rugby balls and a Swiss ball. Let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna look at is just that really good, strong position that we need to find. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my feet shoulder width apart, I'm gonna have a slight flex in my legs. Okay, then I'm just gonna walk out onto the floor. Okay, getting to my knees about 90 degrees bend. Okay, and I want my hands just, just in line with my shoulders here. Okay, I've got my back nice and flat. Okay, I'm trying to get my traps to sort of touch together and I'm sucking my tummy button in and trying to get it towards my back. And I've got my head in a nice neutral position. And just hold that there for a, for a few seconds. So once you become comfortable at just holding this position for around 30 seconds, we just need to sort of shift the weight to see how well we can hold that position. I guess you could start by just moving to your left and hold, keeping that position nice and strong, keeping your, your shoulders back. Okay, back to the middle, same to the other side. Okay, and then back to the middle. And then if you want, we can come forward. Okay, really engaging that car and then back. Okay, once we've become comfortable with them movements, okay, that's when we could start changing and taking a, a point of contact off the floor. Okay, so that could be back into my position again. Okay, all I'd wanna do is holding that there, just slightly lift this arm off the floor. Okay, hold, then put it back. And then the next progression from there would be to completely lift my arm right in front of me, holding that shape nice and tight, and then back on the floor again. Once we're then comfortable at just taking one point of contact on the, off the floor, the next progression is to try and get two points of contact with your hands off the floor. One way we can do that is by bringing in some equipment such as a Swiss ball, okay? So I'm just gonna go back into that shape, okay? I'm just gonna rest my forearms on the ball, really going through that checklist again. So my feet sort of shoulder width apart, knees at 90 degrees, and all I'm gonna do is just manipulate this ball into different positions okay to really put that position under strain and can i keep that car engaged keep that belly button sucked in nice and tight and that back flat if that's too difficult for you and you want to get a little bit close to the floor you could bring in the rugby balls okay as, a, as another alternative and all i'm doing here is again going back into that position just it's lifting me a little bit further off the floor and then i'm just going to lift one ball off the floor and hold put it back down lift another ball off the floor and down and just see how well i can hold it move to the left and the right forward and then backwards just really putting that position under strain with the different objects that i've got available once we're comfortable with that it's important then we bring in some movements of going forward in that like we would in a scrum a rook a mall okay so first of all we're just going to refresh on everything that we've done before so feet shoulder width apart 90 degree bend at the legs Traps back, okay, head in that neutral position, and we're really gonna focus on how we sink our hips and then drive forward, making every step intentional. Okay, so we go down into this position, okay, we sink and we step, step, reset, sink, step, step, reset, sink, step, step. And there are a number of different ways that we can start to develop that and make that a little bit harder just with the equipment that we've got here. So the first bit of equipment we're going to really look at is just how we use the rugby balls. And there's a number of ways that you could do that. First safety point is though, take some bit of air out of the balls first. Make them that little bit flatter, especially if you're just starting. Just gives you more of a solid surface than it stop it from rolling away and, and causing an injury. The first one is just where you, you get back in, you just get into your strong position, okay, and you just roll your hands forward with the ball. Okay, just really focusing on that shape as you move in that direct forward direction. The second step would be to lift and place the ball down. Okay, really focusing on that plant foot moving and keeping our balance as we go forward. And there we have it, some body management exercises that you can do at home or at your local park with limited bits of equipment. Remember, the main focus is just how we can manage our body um, for key aspects of the game, from the scrum, the rook, the maul to the tackle. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Give it a like, comment below and let us know how you get on. Most importantly of all, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you again soon.